السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو دی لیکچر آف دی کلاسیکل میکینکس ان دس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس دا سولوشن فار دا پرابلم نمبر سیون پوائنٹ سیون وچ سی دیٹ وی ہیو اے ڈبل پینڈولم کنسسٹ آف ٹو سمپل پینڈولا ود ون پینڈولم سسپینڈیڈ فرام دی باب آف دی ادرز ایز شون دا فگر اف دا ادر Pendula have equal length and have bob of equal mass means both of the pendulum have equal uh, length and equal masses and both are confined to move in the same plane means this is the plane uh, xy plane which the plane is moving uh, in the curve our pendulum is moving find Lagrange equation of motion for the system do not assume small angle means we will not uh, assume this angle to be small in which we consider sin theta equal to theta we will not consider that case so the first thing is that if we want to find the Lagrangian then we will need the x1 and y1 coordinate so that we can take their uh, velocities and kinetic energy the let consider this this is the pendulum of length l1 for example this the L1 and it is it has mass m1 so this is y-axis and this is x-axis so the, for the first bob we will have we will resolve this length into two components this will be sine component in front of theta and this will be cos component this is the sine component which is parallel to the y1 so y1 will be equal to L1 sine theta and uh, Along this side of the uh, perpendicular, this, this is x1 which is L cos theta 1 because this is theta 1 so we will have right x1 is equal to L cos theta 1 and in the front of theta it will be equal to L, L sine theta 1 because this is parallel to the y1 so these two lines are parallel so this will be y1 so y1 is equal to L sine theta 1 and similarly for x2 for the second we will uh, again consider the total length from this point to this so its total length we will, will again resolve this into two component it will be L uh, sine theta 2 and this is L sine theta 1 as we already got this is L sine theta 1 and this is L sine theta so the total y y2 will be equal to sum of l sin theta 1 and l sin theta 2 and the total x2 will be equal to l1 cos theta 1 and l2 cos theta 2 as we have calculated this x2 is equal to l cos theta 1 plus l cos theta 2 and y2 is equal to l sin theta 1 plus l sin theta 2 in this case we have considered the total length of this if you are looking at this diagram here we have considered this total length this whole length from this point to this we know this this is l cos theta 1 and for this we will resolve this into two component l sin theta 2 and l cos theta 2 this is l cos theta 2 and this is l cos theta 1 so the total x will be equal to l cos theta 1 plus l cos theta 2 and similarly L sin theta 1 we already calculated this distance and for this we will uh, we will have L sin theta 2 so L sin theta 1 plus L sin theta 2 now we find the length kinetic energy we know that kinetic energy for both of the particle will be equal to m over 2 uh, x1 dot cos square plus x2 dot cos square plus y1 dot cos square plus y2 dot cos square so we have x1 we will need to have x1 dot and x2 we have x2 we will need x2 dot at y1 we will need y1 dot and y2 dot so we can <coughs> take their derivative with respect to time and uh, when we take their derivative for example it will give us x2 dot and take their derivative this will give us y2 dot and this derivative will give x1 dot and derivative of this will give y1 dot then we will put these expression into this result this will give us the kinetic energy of the system which is equal to uh, m l square over 2 2 theta 1 dot cos square plus theta 2 dot plus this some product uh, is coming common out 
this is kinetic energy using the double angle rule we can find that this sin theta this is identity mathematical identity trigonometric identity sin alpha sin beta cos alpha cos beta you know that this is equal to cos of some alpha minus beta so this is very famous trigonometric formula so this will be equal to cos of theta 1 minus cos of theta 2 we can write this in compact form which is 2 theta 1 dot theta 2 dot and writing this as it this two term so kinetic energy is uh, obtained now potential energy of the system will be equal to uh, as we are looking u is equal to potential energy for the first vertical system which is x1 plus x2 if we look back to the diagram we know that vertical distance is this one Our vertical this this is our vertical distance this is the vertical uh, distance so it will be x1 plus uh, x2 this is actually x1 and this is x2 this is y1 and this is y2 we have considered this as y axis and this as x axis so x1 plus x2 if we take this as a x or y axis and this uh, so it will not affect our final calculation because the angle is not going to be changed the length of the pendulum is not going to change it will not affect just this is a notation if we change x and y it will not affect our calculations so u is equal to m minus mg x1 plus x2 uh, x1 is uh, l cos theta 1 and x2 also we have found out so we can put their value in this expression it will give us minus mgl 2 cos theta 1 plus cos theta 2 now we have potential energy so we can find uh, the Lagrangian Lagrangian is equal to t minus potential energy so t is the kinetic energy we have obtained this result and potential energy for this we will put kinetic energy from this to this equations and u into this equation then we will have kind link, uh, function for Lagrangian which is this one now we can assume this theta 1 uh, theta 2 very small but we are already told that we should not assume this to be small by substitution in the Lagrange equation we can put this uh, into Lagrange equation because this contain two variable one is for theta 1 dot and another is for theta 2 dot so this will give us two equation so if we put this so if we for, for the first variable partial l or partial theta 1 will give this equation partial l or partial theta 1 dot then partial l or partial theta 2 partial l or partial theta uh, 2 dot this will give us this equation and then we can simplify it to this result for the generalized coordinate theta 1 so we have Lagrange equation which is d over dt partial l over partial theta 1 dot minus partial l over partial theta 1 is equal to 0 and the for the second we have d over dt partial l over partial theta 2 dot minus partial l over partial theta 2 is equal to 0 when we put this Lagrangian into this equation uh, this will give us the equation for theta 1 dot and this equation will give us the equation for theta 2 dot so we are required to prove this so this is our final answer i will stop at this point